Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at creating a custom format within Excel. What we're looking to do is to create a kilogram format, something that's not provided by Excel. They provide many other types of formats, different variations of currency, percentage, numbering systems, dates, etc. etc. But they don't have one such as a kilogram format for weight. On the sheet provided, we have a little example where I have boxes of various weights. I have recorded their weight, the data is in there, but at the moment it's hard to distinguish what type of data that is. If we're talking about 45 pounds, 45 ton, 45 stone or 45 kilograms. We're going to create our own format and apply it to themselves. Let's go for it. First of all, I'm going to select the cells that I want to apply it to. I'm then going to come up to the Home tab on our ribbon and click on what's known as the Dialog Box Launcher in the corner of that number group. Within here, Format Cells opens up, showing me it's a general format at the moment. Now I'm going to go to Custom at the bottom. So I'm going to look at creating our own format. Within our Type area, at the moment it is set to General. First thing I'm going to choose is the zero option, the next one down. Zero just stands for number. In this case, number 45 for the first cell, but whatever the number is. In the type box just above, I'll click in there, and after zero, I'm going to type kilograms within double quotes. Double quotes denote a text string, so it's going to say to literally put them letters into the cell. I can see a sample box above just saying 45 kilograms now. Looks good, looks like what I want, so I'll click on OK. And there it is. We have our cells in there with kilograms after, so we know exactly what type of weight we're dealing with. If in the future more boxes appeared and they also had a weight which I needed to record, you'll notice that kilograms puts itself in. If it didn't, if I was recording weights on uh, a new sheet within here, or just an area which is you know, further away and not adjacent to the table at the moment, then Excel is not going to automatically pick that up. The good thing is, with our custom format created, it will now remain in that list. So if I select that cell, back to our drop down, to our, our dollar box launcher arrow, back to custom and it will always sit right at the bottom if I scroll down of this list zero kilograms and I can apply that format uh, to my cell so you go the ability to create your own custom formats uh, there are many other formats that Excel may have considered different date formats um, if you put in IDs, like employee IDs, different formats, it's worth uh, being adventurous, worth trying out and, and testing what's capable. hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out some of our other tutorials on our Facebook page or visit us at computergargard.com.